Iowa State students are responding to a campus-wide email asking students if they wanted to learn about 3D printed guns. Now, this all comes days after two mass shootings, the first in Atlanta, Georgia, killing eight, six of them Asian women, the second in Boulder, Colorado, killing 10 people. Local 5's Lakin McGee has the students' reactions and dives deeper into 3D printing and the legality behind it. This is the email. Do you want to learn about 3D printed firearms? And it grabbed a lot of attention from students. Maybe not the best time to actually send an email like that. Overall, it just sets a bad precedent. Don't think it's a smart idea. All three agree it's insensitive. We make prototypes of all kinds. Brandon Hart is the owner of Hart Smart Products. From Bernie and Mittens, tiny cities, and toy cars, 3D printing is becoming more popular. But he says they won't print a gun. Primarily, it's related to safety. A 3D printed item is simply just not as safe, not as strong as an injection molded part would be. A 3D printed object is mainly made out of multiple layers of plastic. So how does it work? Kind of a three-step process. First, you start with a three-dimensional model. Next, the computer software you use will take all of the settings you want incorporated into the printed part and send it to the printer. Lastly, it gets printed. Staff at HeartSmart Products say it's illegal to print a firearm for someone. A firearm must have a serial number and be registered with the government, along with the carrier having a license. According to 3dsource.com, Plastic struggles with the pressure of live ammunition and can often break or explode. But as there are no metal parts, it can make it past a metal detector. Now, Iowa State University responded to the email and they said, although some people may not agree with the topic, they say all students have the right to talk about whatever topics that they want to. I'm Lakin McGee for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. And something also to note here in the email, it says this event was a year in the making. A Congress passed laws regarding the printing of 3D firearms. In 2013, they passed the Undetectable Firearms Act, forcing 3D printed guns to contain metal components. However, a 3D printed gun can function without any metal part.